packed with a fragrant filling served with some zesty dipping sauce. This is my version of grilled stuffed squid. Hi everyone, it's Cher here at School of Walk. Welcome back to a brand new... Hi everyone, it's Cher here at School of Walk. Good to see you again to... Um... Hi everyone, it's Cher here at School of Walk. Welcome back to Walk Wednesdays. We've got a lovely recipe for you today. It's going to be um, a stuffed squid with a dipping sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just prep up all of my filling ingredients. So that's going to be um, some lemongrass that I'm just going to cut up really finely along with some garlic, some woodia mushrooms. They're also known as um, black fungus mushrooms, completely just for texture about four to five shallots as well, as well as some lime leaves, and also some fresh coriander, some fresh mint, to give a little bit of that lovely freshness, of course, as well as um, some mung bean noodles that were pre-soaked in some hot water and just kind of snip away. And that's pretty much it. And then, of course, um, to go into the, um, the squid, we've also got a couple of um, different proteins, so a little bit of a serving to have special today with some, uh, some prawns that just kind of roughly chopped, as well as um, some pork mince, which I've got here. So all of that can just go into a really big bowl, and then we're just going to season it up. To get some seasoning in, we are going to use a little bit of um, fish sauce, obviously, because it is a very Southeast Asian recipe that we're doing today. Um, also some sugar. Now I'm opting for some palm sugar here. You could obviously use any kind of uh, caster sugar, some light brown sugar. Works absolutely fine. I just like palm sugar. Um, we also have a little bit of oyster sauce. There's about two tablespoons of oyster sauce going in. And finally, just a little bit of ground black pepper to go in. You could obviously use white pepper as well if you wanted a little bit less of a peppery um, flavor or a peppery note to the dish. And then just go in with your hand, give it a really good squeeze and start to work all of these ingredients together. So the really interesting bit about this uh, recipe is that in, you know, throughout Southeast Asia, you find all very different variations of the same um, a dish, whether it's a Malaysian or a Cambodian, Vietnamese, um, even Thai, um, in Thailand you'll absolutely find um, stuffed squid. So it is literally a recipe from everywhere. In fact, I'm pretty much convinced that in, with every country that's got access to the sea or a coastline, you probably will find some form of a stuffed squid recipe. Yum, salmonella. <laughs> Great, so this is all well mixed now. Um, I've got really porky and porny hands. I'm just gonna give my hands a really quick wash and so should you. I'll see you in a bit. So we're just gonna let this uh, chill out for a bit in the fridge and then we're gonna work on squid. Squid time, we're gonna prep some squid. Here we've got a um, whole squid with tentacles and everything. I'm gonna show you how to clean everything out. So you have got um, an anatomy session with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, between the tentacles and the body, you've got all of this stuff on the inside. We're just going to very, very gently pull everything out. There we go. We've got, ooh, this is really interesting. So you've got this tiny silvery bit here. That's where the squid ink sac is. Um, all of the gubbins, um, all of that needs to just come out. Gubbins meaning rubbish for our non-British viewers out there. Um, you also find um, in the body of the squid there's all these plastic key looking thingies. They are not plastic, they're actually the quill um, of the squid. So that just goes um, into your rubbish bin. Um, get in there with your hands, make sure that you kind of dig everything from the, um, the tube of the squid. Now sometimes with this purple membrane it's quite nice to be able to kind of tear that off as well, just makes your squid look a little bit more presentable. So all of those can go. Now, if you're finding it quite hard to take off the purple membrane with your fingers, you can also take your knife, your trusty little knife, and just scrape away, and all of that should just come right off. With the squid, you also have two little bits of wings here. Um, we just tend to, well, I just tend to kind of tear the wings off and save that for a little um, pen fight snack later on. 
if you wish. So that is a whole tube that's pretty much prepped. And all we need to do is just give this a really quick wash in a bowl with water. I'm going to set that aside. Now coming back to your tentacles, you obviously have the tentacles of the squid along with some eyes over here. So we don't need the eyes, so just cut behind or rather just cut in front of the eyes. So all of that, that's all gubbins, unless you want to save some of the black squid um, sack or um, some squid ink pasta. And now reaching into the mouth of the squid, we just got to pop out this beak. It's literally called a beak because it looks like a bird's beak and that just comes right out. That's a little bit um, sort of hard. And that is your tentacles um, prepped. Now, if you want to, you can also just cut that in half for later. So we've done the squid and they've all been washed really well. Um, so time now for um, stuffing. So we're just gonna grab the um, cold filling and I usually find it easier to go in with a spoon. You can obviously use a piping bag as well but um, spoon works absolutely fine. We're just gonna do this progressively in stages. Um, so just a tiny bit of that filling in, and then in it goes, and then we're just going to um, use the thumb, or use my thumb rather, I'm just gonna push down all the way in there. We want everything well stuffed, okay? So the squid's been stuffed, um, obviously got plenty of filling left over. Please obviously don't throw this away. You can obviously freeze it for the next time you want to do another stuffed um, squid or even use this to make um, stuffed peppers or even just little meat patties as well, pan fried um, both sides and they will be delicious. Next up, we're just going to um, close up the, uh, the squid tubes. Obviously, if you have the tentacles still left, um, you could obviously pop those um, in there as well, um, just to kind of have the tentacles hanging out a little bit. Um, so you're basically reconstructing a squid, as it were. Um, toothpicks or cocktail sticks, really handy to just kind of get in there, pierce through like so, and then we're just going to wing it back again to do the other side. So essentially just kind of securing with your cocktail sticks so everything is nice and firmly in place and you'll notice I also did not fill the squid tubes all the way to the top because the tubes are obviously going to shrink up a little bit um, as it steams um, so just leave a tiny bit of space there it'll just make your life a little bit easier next up we're going to steam up the squid before we um, pan fry them later on so I've got a bamboo steamer just going on top of a hot wok of water and then the squid can just go right in over the top or rather into the steamers, um, steamer baskets, and they are going to take about 15 to 20 minutes uh, of steaming, obviously quite, because they're quite big. Obviously, um, if you've got smaller ones, then obviously less time. So whilst the squids are steaming away, we're just going to make a quick dipping sauce. So here I've got some uh, finely chopped lemongrass, a couple of cloves of finely chopped garlic, and uh, also a couple of uh, really small Thai birds are chilies just for a little bit of that heat because um, we definitely want some heat in there. I'm just going to go in with um, a couple of uh, limes, um, just kind of juice the limes and get as much of that lovely juice in there. It's such a classic um, combination here. You've got your um, really kind of acidic um, component from uh, the limes. You've, so you've got also the aromatic, so that's going to be your garlic. You've got the spicy from the chilies, which is great. And then the lemongrass just kind of really lifts it up. And finally, we're just going to go in with a shot of whiskey. No, I'm kidding. It's just a shot of um, fish sauce, about three tablespoons to go in there. And then we're just going to give it a really good mix. And that is possibly the world's easiest dipping sauce. And that will be ready for our squid to come in. And obviously just to kind of balance everything off, we are going to get a little bit of um, palm sugar. You can obviously use normal um, caster sugar, just a little bit of sweetness to balance because otherwise juice of two limes is going to be too acidic for this dipping sauce. So you want a nice balance between the salty, the sweet, the spicy um, and the sour. Right, so 20 minutes have passed. I'm just going to carefully lift, just beware of really hot steam. But here we have the lovely squid. And you can obviously see they're puffed up quite a lot because of the filling. 
Um, as it cooks, it's just going to expand a little bit, and obviously because the squid also shrinks at the same time, you get really nice sort of bulb of um, squid tubes. So, just gonna take that out of the steamer. So we're just gonna let these squid tubes cool down for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna fire up the griddle pan and then we can get these babies browned up real nice. So the squids had a lovely kind of uh, couple of minutes to get some color on them and we're just gonna slice them up now. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you try out the recipe and also don't forget to um, check out our What Wednesday playlist for more recipes and obviously don't um, forget to like, subscribe and comment um, below. Till next time, um, take care and I'll see you soon.